we get a little festive round here. So yeah, they updated Team Fortress 2. Ah, oh, forgot to select the normal maps. <laughs> Merry Smithmas, one and all. It's time to go through what they added and uh, what I think of it. This is not going to be a big unboxing. That video will come later in the year, as per usual. But let's get into it. So, not two. Six new maps added. We've got Altitude, Bread Space, Cascade, Chili, Double Frost, and Polar. Thoughts on each individual map will be coming, so stick around for that. There's the new Winter 2021 cosmetic case, 20 new community contributors items, uh, plus a festivizer. Uh, three new taunts from the community. We've got the Doctor's Defibrillators, the Shooter Stakeout, and the Hot Wheeler. Gonna check those out as well. And then 27 new unusual effects. We'll see if we get an unusual later in the video. Right, so let's check out these new taunts. Doctor's Defibrillators. All right, pretty interesting. Not really that cool. It's just a dis it's just the medic defibrillating. That's really all I can say about it. <laughs> Someone's about to have a very bad. This one's actually pretty cool. I like this one. It's another one of those um, infinite, infinite taunts, I guess. I like it. It's very cool. And finally, the hot wheeler, <laughs> the pyro, finally has a vehicle and it is a lovely trike this is very cool i like it a lot um yeah very nice emotes i think two out of three very strong lovely stuff and now let's check out the maps we are on our way to polar one of the six new smismus maps that we were given today or last night i guess uh yeah I've seen nothing about this update. I've purposely tried to avoid everything. Um, so this is my first impressions of each of the new maps. And yeah, nice Christmas tree. That's pretty That's pretty good. How'd I miss? How'd I miss? I don't know. But I capped. Which is pretty epic. Hey, buddy. You tried. I didn't want to be there. I, I didn't want to be there. <laughs> hey. One man team. There were probably some other people there. But I got that final the final push. All in all, I actually quite like this map. It's quite nice. I know I've not really been exploring the map, but the scenery scenery is very nice. We can do a quick run through right now. So down here, this is the spawn just there. You saw the uh, second point. It's a very nice windy path. Loads of little buildings you can go in. Lots of fighting you can do. Go through here. And yeah, there's a nice long street to the uh, to the final point, the Aurora Borealis in the sky. Pretty epic. Um, yeah, I like the scenery of this map. It's quite nice. Very polar. I do like when maps are polar themed. I think that works really well in TF2. I do like the um, Christmas tree as well. That's a very nice addition to the map. You don't normally see those on TF2 maps, I feel. Let's see. Lovely ruckus going on at spawn with this wonderful Christmas tree and um, a hole. What more could you need from a map, honestly? So yeah, all in all, Polar, very good map. If we get some, uh, yeah, look, all in all, lovely map, lovely scenery, really well made. It's a good payload map, I like it. Not too many choke points either way, you can just get walled, which is very good. All in all, I give Polar an 8 out of 10. Very good. I have no idea what this map is going to be. Um, I've heard people raving about it. And already I'm impressed. This shit looks lush. Jeez. What we got over here? What's this? Little, little, little sussy costume. Damn. Okay, what's this? 
five ounce dry yeast. Oh, it's it's a bread recipe. Bread heads. All these people are bread. What's going on here? D nuts. What's going on here? Talk to me, buddy. What's going on? Come on, guys. We could get to the bottom of this mystery. What is what is going on? Already, I'm loving the vibes of this map. Oh my god, that is a that is a beautiful resupply cabinet. That is amazing. Holy shit. I love it. I love the vibes. I'm getting retro, retro space, retro sci-fi vibes. Love it. I absolutely love it. Oh, the v oh my god, it's such a cool map. And then we go to... Whoa, this is actually sick. Jeez. We're in like some sort of... Some sort of orb. Oh, some glowing green stuff. That's always good. Oh, this map is so dope. Loads of glowing green stuff. Was it like a mining outpost or something? Whatever it is, it is dope. I'm a big fan. Oh, whoa! -ho -ho -ho. This is the final point. We got to kill the bread monster. We also ran all the way to the end. We went the wrong way. <laughs> that is dope though. I love it. So the objective for the blue team is to kill the bread monster and as a red team we've got to stop them. We want the bread monster to live. Whoa, what is this? Little bread guy? Oh, they blow up. Nice. Good to know. Some little bread kills. I love this map. Already the design is like a... a the design's a high, high 10. Oh wow, this map looks beautiful. I wouldn't really call it a Christmas map, but I love it. So it doesn't really matter. I love it. I love everything about it. I've even like played a full round of this gate, this map, but holy shit, it's a 10 already. Wow. I'm a big fan. What's out there? What is out there? Oh, just the lunar surface, I guess. This, this map's beautiful. Oh, we're in decontamination. That's a really nice touch. I like this map. I like it a lot. A lot of blood on the floor. They can get away with having, like, literally nothing apart from that shooting star. <laughs> they can get away with having nothing out there because it's the moon. It's barren. What do you expect to see? Wow, I love this map. Yeah, as I've as I already said, oh, some Christmas lights. Uh, ten out of ten. Honestly, this year, ten out of ten map. And probably last year as well would have been ten out of ten because this map is beautiful. Okay, next we have double frost, which is just double cross, but cold. What more do you need, really? Lovely Christmas tree in the Intel room. I actually really like this Christmas tree. I like the. Uh, the ornaments. You got a sapper, you got some sticky bombs, a rocket. I like it. Very nice. Oh, they even changed up this. This looks dope. Oh my god. Wow. Amazing. Yeah, I don't really think there's much to this guy's nabbed. He's he's a nabbed. What a, what a successful nab. Go. Oh, this is frosty. I like that. They, 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 they frosted. They'd have a nice chunk for us to jump into, but wow. Nice touch. Literally just sliding about. Very cool. <laughs> I got him! Just sliding about. Yeah, there's not really much to say on this map. It's, it's wintry double cross. And it has ice. Very cool, actually. I I quite like it. I took all the credit for that scout's hard work as well. <laughs> oh, they did add this sign actually. Caution: wet floor. Very cool. Um, yeah. There's not. If you've played Double Cross, you've pretty much played Double Frost, really. Uh, six out of ten. Like. Double Cross is already a good map, and this just snowifies it, so I can't really give it that high of a rating, but it is, it is a positive change, I think. I think 6 out of 10 is a good rating, because it is a nice map, and it fits the uh, the times we are. Oh, there's a sentry there. 
it fits the times we're in. Cascade! I've actually played this map before. Um, so it's going to be brief. I like the map. It's very cool. It's got a nice little under the point bit, which I think is dope. Um, bad memories on this map. <laughs> Getting absolutely destroyed in Seasona Lander. Uh, but, oh, never mind, one Snowville. Never mind. Right, we're here on altitude. Wow. That is dope. Okay, yes, we're here on altitude. My browser history is healing me. Very pog. Whoa ho ho! Can we just take a moment to appreciate that map design? Not the map design, the level. Holy shit, look at that. That is that is dope. It's like a ski resort. I guess altitude, you know, you fuck off. You go up to ski. I like it. Whoa, hey. Hey, Amir Gaming. Um, where was I? Oh, yeah, this map looks beautiful. Wow. Just the scope and scale of this map is, is amazing. Sauce Medic. Hello. Hello. Oh, yeah. Was Oh, there's a fucking bread man on my head. What's up? Come on, Kunchpole. We have a lot of pyros. Nice. Perfect for this cold map. Brr. That looks like a good point to push someone off. Okay, how did that hit me? That shit has the fucking so long range. What the hell? But hey, this part of the map looks groovy. Yeah, look at this little area. Looks cool. There's like a little, little ski lodge up there. Ooh. Ooh, that's a proper ski lodge, not whatever I said was a ski lodge. This is like a, a for real ski lodge, you know what I'm saying? Goodbye. Oh no, he didn't fall off. No! Okay, he fell off. I got what I wanted. Ooh. Thank you, medic. <laughs> Ah, good. The flag! That was epic. Can't lie. Oh my god, go on. Oh, he should have stayed there. He could have... Could have I, th I reckon he could have... Ooh! Ooh! Pots that I never even saw. Wow, I need to... But I need to see that again. I didn't actually give my rank for altitude. Um, but we're on red team. Wait. Whoa, 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 whoa. whoa. So, you, okay, you can go right here. Boink. This is the final control point. I um, don't know how to get into there. But that's there. So this is the final point. Jeez, it even goes outside. You've got your you've got your cable cars here. Your I don't know what you would call them. Cable cars. That's that's what we call them anyway. And yeah, they go around here. Actually, this is a very nice final point. I like this. Very cool. Never got to see it when I. Oh. Oh. Bit of a bit of a bug there. <laughs> um, I didn't get to see that when I originally played this game. And here we are at the second point, B, where we got stopped last time. It's the little ski lodge chalet sort of sort of vibe. I must say, it is, it is quite nice. There are a lot of places I think you could probably set up a defence. We, we did kind of get stopped from actually getting in here. But yeah, I like it. It's a very nice environment as well. Yeah, okay, um, I think this is this is also an 8.5. An 8.5? This is an 8 out of 10. <laughs> I don't know where the 8.5 came from. This is an 8 out of 10. Definitely on the same level as Polar. Two very nice maps that we got this year. Very cool. Uh, on to the next one. Cascade! I've played this map, as I mentioned earlier. 
Um, I can give you a rating right now. 7 out of 10. It's an okay map. I don't think it's bad. But personally, out of all the maps added, it's not my favourite. That's a nice vantage point though. Nice little flank point. Yeah, this is my favourite part of the map. Uh, yeah, 7 out of 10 Cascade is, is pretty pretty alright. <laughs> that's, that's all I have to say. Well, I mean... There's bots. But we're on Chile. It's a winter version of that Halloween map. And it's full of bots. Great news. Um, lovely stuff. I'm, I'm glad there are so many... Wonderful bots on this map. Wow. Wow. We're epic. Wow. So I'm here in a uh, offline, I guess you could say. Basically, I made my own server to just explore this map without any bots because it was getting pretty hard to find a game of this map which didn't have bots. So yeah, this is just a wintry version of that Halloween map. Mirasmus was like chilling around here. He looked pretty dope. Um, yeah, that's that's all there is to it. It's it's chilly. It is a it is a nice map. You know the Halloween map was good. I I think the Halloween version was better. This uh, this isn't as good. I'm not really a fan of this version of the map. I'm just gonna say I thought it was much better. When it was spooky, because I had more reason to be. This is just a rocket on a flat, snowy plane with presents everywhere. Yeah, as far as Christmas maps go, this is definitely the worst of the bunch added. I can appreciate how long it takes to make a map, and adapting already a map for a different season can be tough. But out of the maps added, this is the worst one that's been added. This was definitely better on Halloween with all the spells and shit. It was it was just a better experience. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna give this one a 4 out of 10. I much preferred the Halloween version. We didn't get a war paint case this year, which is interesting. We normally get both, don't we? I'm not sure why Valve decided to do that. Um, there must be some reason behind it, but no war paints this year. Right, so I quickly went and bought 5 cases and 5 keys, and I have realised that the 2021 case and the 2019 case look almost identical. And I personally cannot tell any difference between the two unless I squint to look at the numbers. Not sure why I did that Valve. Also not sure why they still look like this and not some like fancy design like the Halloween ones, but we move. We're going to get into a little unboxing, but first the gift stuff stocking for all these good little mercenaries like myself gift a pool description tag name tag a rap assassin a backpack expander color number 216190216 a smith for set of war paint the tide turner and the splendid screen lovely all right first case of winter 2021 what are we gonna get one item Ooh, we got a scringly a little scringly guy. We got an ominous offering. I haven't actually looked at the cosmetics, which I probably should have done. Uh, but this fella, he looks pretty cute. Okay, so we got the Old Fiesta Brero, the Elf Defense, the Moo Shanker. That one looks dope. The Festive Frames, pretty pretty decent. Ominous offering. Cozy Catchers, Brain Cane, the, gi the Gift Crafter, Festive Cover Up, the Gnome Dome. That's also pretty cool. Uh, the Seasonal Spring, Seasonal Employee, Train of Thought, Elf Ignition, that's alright. Uh, elf Made Bandana, Rain Dunicorns, uh, The Hat Chocolate, Merry Cone, Jolly Jester, and Oh Dear. Yeah, this is a pretty weak case, I think. Um, I'm, I'm, I like the Mooshanka. I think if I get the Mooshanka, that's pretty dope. Second case, we got the Gift Crafter. Okay. Yeah, it's an old class. Alright, so, two cases in. Nothing really to write home about. But we're on to case number three. Come on, give me some in... Huh, nice. Oh, we got the Gnome Dome. Let's go. Are you free though? Where my case at? 
You fuckers just robbed me. Uh, case four. Uh, oh, the festive cover-up. Okay, it's all right. It's one of the better ones. Oh, I got a, oh, I got a brain cane and a festivizer. Okay, nothing, nothing to write home about this unboxing. Yeah, I think it was kind of weak, to be honest. It was kind of a weak unboxing. Not, not really a fan of many of the cosmetics. I'm not sure I will do a big unboxing this year. Um, I, I'll try to get the Mushanka though. That's pretty dope. But other than that. Not really that cool, if I'm being honest. But yeah, this one, this one's dope. It looks like a heavy hat. I like it. Uh, yeah, I've been over the giant tree. This has been Smithsmas 2021. We love it when we get some content for TF2, don't we? If you would like to see a big unboxing, please comment below. Because if there's if there's demand for one, I'll do one and I'll give away the contents. Not really that good of an update, in my opinion. I like the maps. The maps are the best part, I think. Uh, but yeah, have a great day. See you later. Hey, oh, uh, uh, I've been up for like two hours. Two hours. Yo, bitch, can food took a few showers. Few showers. I don't buy my just money dance. Yeah. That wristwatch costs a hundred grand.